Welcome to Krishna Culture Storytime. Today we're going to read a wonderful book, one of my favorite, The Butter Thief. It's a book by, written by Chris Murray and illustrated by Kim Waters. It's such a beautiful book, a little cute little Krishna, and the story of how he stole butter. Let's get started. Long ago, in India, there lived a most wonderful child. His name was Krishna, and he lived very happily with his mother and father in the beautiful village of Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, the homes were very pleasant. The forests were full of beautiful birds and peacocks. The rivers flowed with pure water, and the pasturing grounds were full of cows. All around there were signs of good fortune. One day, Mother Yashoda was churning butter. As she worked, she made up songs about her little Krishna. She looked very beautiful as she pulled on the churning rope. While she was busy working, Krishna came to her and wanted to be fed. Mother Yashoda loved Krishna very much and was always happy to take care of him. She stopped her work and hugged her darling Krishna. She let him sit on her lap and looked at his face with great affection. While Mother Yashoda was nursing Krishna, she suddenly remembered the pan of milk she had left to boil on the stove. Quickly, Yashoda left Krishna to take care of the overflowing milk. When Yashoda left, Krishna became very angry and he broke the pot of freshly churned butter. Quickly, he ran to another room to eat it. After Yashoda took care of the overflowing milk, she turned and saw what naughty Krishna had done. She followed his butter-smeared footprints right into the storage room. There was Krishna sitting on a big wooden mortar, giving butter and yogurt to the monkeys. Krishna suddenly heard his mother coming and quickly got down and ran away. Yashoda chased after him and finally captured him. Mother Yashoda took Krishna by the hand and told him he had been a naughty boy. To keep Krishna from getting into more trouble, Mother Yashoda tied him by his waist to the wooden mortar. When Yashoda was busy back at work, Krishna saw two trees standing side by side. He began to crawl toward the trees, pulling the wooden mortar behind him. As he passed between the trees, the large mortar became stuck. Krishna pulled very hard on the rope and the two trees came crashing down with a great sound. Out of the trees appeared two beautiful men, shining like the sun. They had been cursed long ago to become trees, but now they had been freed by Krishna. They bowed before him again and again, thanking him, and then they left. After hearing the sounds of the crashing trees, everyone rushed to the spot and looked in amazement. The children who had been playing nearby told how Krishna had pulled down the two trees and how two wonderful-looking men had appeared and spoken to him. Krishna's father, Nanda Maharaj, smiled upon hearing about his son. He untied the rope around Krishna's waist and set him free. In the courtyard of his house, the women and children gathered and began to clap and sing while Krishna danced for them. Simply by loving Krishna, everyone became happy. The end. What a beautiful, wonderful story of little baby Krishna. Don't you think so? Well, if you enjoyed this story, and if you would like a copy of this book, The Butter Thief, you can visit our website at krishnaculture.com. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.